Second-gen fans would agree that YG is one of the biggest companies in the industry. In fact, the agency is part of the infamous Big 3 in K-pop. But recently, YG was basically kicked out of that trio after famous groups under the label decided to leave. This made fans wonder what went wrong. Well, in today's video, we will go over all of the juicy details and shed light on how YG slowly self-destructed and why are idols walking away from the once prestigious K-pop agency. Okay, cool. Let's get started. It all started after Yang Hyun Suk founded YG way back in 1996, and since then, it has housed a few of the biggest names in K-pop, like Psy, Big Bang, 21, Winner, Icon, Blackpink, and Treasure. So, you can only imagine the impact the company has. This is only one of the main reasons it belonged to the big three alongside big companies such as SM Entertainment and JYP. At the same time, YG's iconic swag image had taken the industry by storm. As a result, Big Bang and 21 carried the company in early 2010 with their unique and funky concepts. Of course, we can't forget how Psy's Gangnam Style went viral and became a certified hit worldwide. But wait, there's more because YG also dominated the next generations of K-pop after the debut of Winner, Icon, Treasure, and, of course, the ever-infamous Blackpink, who continued the company's reputation and set records after records when it debuted. However, despite YG's superstar status, the company had been involved in countless controversies before, and while they were able to tiptoe their way out of them, there were several consequences they weren't able to avoid. Especially since Yang Hyun Suk was personally involved with some of them, and while his actions don't reflect those of the other staff or the idols, it's hard to disassociate when the one committing offenses is the CEO himself. The downfall started after Yang Hyun Suk was dragged into questionable activities and business, and from there on, it was nothing but a long and drastic fall from the top. In 2019, Big Bang's Si Youngri was charged with offenses relating to prostitution. Yes, this was about the infamous Burning Sun Club. This literally broke the internet and became one of the biggest scandals in the industry during that time. Si Youngri soon after announced his quitting the industry in March 2019 and has been facing more charges ever since. In the end, Si Youngri was charged in 2020 with organizing prostitutes for investors, embezzling money, accepting bribes, engaging in unlawful gaming, and breaking regulations governing the exchange of foreign currency and food safety. While fans thought that this case would not affect the other artists in the company, they were immediately proven wrong after Hyun Suk was charged with the same offense. Offenses. It was later found out that YG CEO also owns a few clubs that have been evading taxes for quite some time now. But wait, there's more. Because after further investigation, it was determined that Hyun Suk would provide extra services for his business partner, in which they would pick a lady who would accompany them throughout a meeting or even after business hours. Through an investigative program called Straight, it was also found out that Hyun Suk would reward these women with luxury items after making them work as escorts for his VIPs. After the news became the talk of the town, YG employees were quick to wash their hands of the accusations. One of them was Sai, who insisted he knew nothing about these nasty stories happening in his company. In an email, the YG also reportedly cleaned his name and said, I never once committed the illegal acts that the broadcast mentioned or have done anything that would embarrass me in front of you all. He also explained how YG has 23 years of reputation and he is in the position to protect that, saying, I'm in the position to protect that dream. I will never forget the heavy responsibility I hold. But I think we can all agree that Sai, or anyone else for that matter, was not able to protect that dream after a streak of dirty secrets started to get exposed. One of them was B.I.'s drug scandal and how Han So Hee revealed how Hyun Suk allegedly tried to intimidate her from standing as a witness against Icon's previous member. As a result, the general view of the company started to decline, ultimately damaging that company's image beyond repair. In an attempt to save his sinking company, Hyun Suk announced that he will be stepping down as CEO of the company. 
On July 14, 2019, he released a statement about his intention of leaving the company and fans had a mixed reaction to it. He also released a statement expressing how sorry he was for all the bad things he had done to the company and the artist. Yang Hyun Suk also hoped the best for the company he devoted his life to, saying, I sincerely hope that there will be no more damage caused to the YG artist and everyone who has loved them because of me. YG currently has numerous professionals who are more capable than me. I believe by stepping down, it will create a good opportunity for them to live up to their full potential. Stabilizing YG as fast as possible is my sincere hope. Spoiler alert, this didn't happen. And after he left the company for good, idols started leaving one by one, especially after further investigation reveals that Sai was in fact present during those controversial business meetings where YG was accused of procuring services from women. As a result, YG suffered another loss just after Hyun Suk stepped down. This was after fans wanted a refund for the tickets they both bought to see Psy at his concert in 2019. The organizer knew where the fans came from and was left with no choice but to offer a 100% refund for those who bought both tickets in advance. Just imagine the millions YG lost because of this. But this was not yet the worst of it. Because of Hyun Suk's personal scandals, more trainees decided to leave the company. Most of them got impatient waiting for their debut, which was postponed because of all the dramas prior. Fans even pointed out that it was expected, especially since YG doesn't have the best track record when it comes to treating their idols. In fact, Treasure 13 was supposed to make its much-awaited debut in July of 2019, but was put on hold when the controversy exploded. And these kids can only endure so much. After the indefinite status of their future, some trainees decided to call it quits and left the company right before their debut. Even after their debut, YG was not able to make all the remaining members stay after Bang Yadam and Mashiho announced their departure from the group in 2022. However, this is only the tip of the iceberg after Icon also had enough when they announced they were leaving as a group. This was after they were literally given zero promotion and no opportunity to promote. This group made the decision in December 2022 and Iconics were super glad to finally see their favorite band free from YG's grasp. For example, the Blackjacks are still mad at Hyun Suk about the utter lack of care he gave 21 before they decided to disband. I mean, he had the audacity to ignore CL when she was trying to get updates about her album. Of course, CL didn't hold back and even publicly called out YG for not answering her messages. If this is bad enough, wait until you hear how Big Bang is leaving the company as well. Top, Taeyang, and Dai Sung were the first to announce their departure from the company. Well, Taeyang did stay within YG, but moved to a subsidiary label under the company called Black Label. Blackpink was later pushed to Black Label, and fans are not sure how to react. But at the very least, they are sure that YG will be losing tons of money after the girls leave the main office for good. During their talk with labelmate Zexki's Yun Ji Won, Lee Shang Hoon complimented him as the YG senior that takes care of winner the most. But then he followed up with an alleged diss on YG, claiming, But then again, we don't have many seniors left in YG anymore. Now tell me Shang Hoon was not throwing shade at Hyun Suk, who failed to make other artists stay. But if you think Hyun Suk learned his lesson, then think again, because it was revealed that he is the mastermind behind YG's newest group, Baby Monster First Class. And let's just say that the girls had been drawing a lot of flack even before their debut. Fans can't help but feel sorry for the girls, knowing that their future won't be as easy. One fan wrote, I was a YG stan for so long. It hurts so much dealing with a decade's worth of scandals and artists leaving. Well, I think only the future will tell, but I guess we can all agree that if Yang Hyun Suk will not change the way he manages the company, they'll just drive YG into much deeper waters. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more.